Hey coach, it's Joe Salas here. Uh, I've had some good feedback on the video so far. Right now I'm going back and I'm re-loading uh, them in HD. Uh, that's some of the feedback I had was to go HD and get a clear uh, look at the board. So uh, for a while there'll be some double, everything will be double until I get all the HD loaded and then I'll, I'll get rid of the first one. But it's the same video, just uploaded in, uh, in uh, HD. So today, uh, one, of the, uh, one of the feedback things I got was they want to know about insertion on JV, ninth grade, middle school, rec league. And uh, so I'm going to show you that today. On the uh, JV, I'm just going to say JV, but we, you know, alignment, we, we're trying to go all the way down as far as we can. And uh, we feel like these uh, plays are good all the way into the rec league. So we're on a three-day insertion. Uh, the, the top of it is uh, we're doing things that we uh, have found successful for uh, the lower level kids that, uh, you know, as they're developing. But we're a big believer on uh, in the Jet Series uh, on that level. It's just something to do with, uh, number one, you just find your fastest kid. It doesn't matter how, how big he is. Get your fastest kid and let's get him good at Jet. And the fact that they don't have video, they're not always prepared for it. Uh, you know, it has, probably has something to do with that also. But, but we really like the Jet Series. We like it on varsity, but we love it on JV freshman middle school rec league. All right, so here we go. Day one, uh, bread and butter counter. Same exact, we teach it the exact same way. We think it's a great play on any level. Uh, and, and every, we've got the screens on both sides. Everything's the same. Larry Roger, our spot screen, air raid uh, staple. Uh, our five and six, which is that hitch boot combination. We like that, especially when we got a, a little more of an athlete, that quarterback uh, really has been effective on JV for us. Uh, uh, the 90s are shallow to the right. Uh, we go ahead and put the RPOs on. We think they're so simple that the quarterback's looking at one guy and he's making a decision. So we put our thunder to the right end and then our uh, bullet uh, for first day is our Randy. Uh, day two, we go with the zone, and again, uh, we're, we're good at zone more because we're great at counter. So it's a uh, bucket cross run, uh, but the defense has to squeeze so hard, you know, we, we just won't. If they're not squeezing, if they're making it easier to run counter, we're just going to run counter all night. But when they start playing us better, uh, the zone is a given. Uh, Tom and Jerry are, are bubble screens. Uh, 11 and 10 is our sticks, a uh, great JV play. And then we go uh, a hair different from varsity. We go ahead and put our shallow to the left in as our day 290, because we're, we're only putting shallow in on JV. So uh, shallow to the right the first day, shallow to the left the second day. Uh, RPO is lightning, which is our RPO to the left. We're reading that inside back or playing the screen game, uh, I mean the, uh, the slant game. Our bullet is Randy Pass. And then we get to day three, and this is really where it starts getting excited. So uh, we put the jet in as our day three run. Uh, instead of putting a third screen in, we put this little uh, little action play in, 8, 20, 9, 20. That is simply faking the jet, and the quarterback's running a little scoop play back uh, against the grain. Been a, a, a super play because you get the lead with the, uh, the F still. The F is still running around the corner. Jet's coming full speed. He's turning his back. Uh, I guess this would be a good time. We are, we're one of the toss. We, we believe in the toss on, on, uh, on Jet. And uh, <laughs> you know, Jet guys, half of them, they, they, they we toss it because we can get passing yards. So, so that's, truth is that part of it. But you know, all the other excuses they use is, uh, you know, if it fumbles, it's, it's an incomplete pass, it's not a fumble. But the biggest one, and this is reality, is because your snap, especially on the lower levels, is not perfect every time, that toss allows you to make some corrections off a of bad snap. So if the snap's high, he can toss it like this. If the snap, the snap is here, he can toss it. It gives him a little more flexibility to get that thing handed off to, to, the, uh, to the jet runner. So if it, was, if it was a traditional catch it and hold it, that's a, a, a snap that's not 100% in the same spot every time would be much more troublesome. But when you're doing the toss deal, uh, you know, you can even be late on it and still get it out in front of them. I can catch it here and toss it in front of them. So it just, it, it, it makes the play a lot more reliable for us. Uh, 
Uh, so 820 is, we're faking a jet run on the uh, scoop. Three and four is our little snag play. That's where our man killer, same one we run on varsity. Uh, our day 390, we go ahead and put in the jet pass, which I'm gonna draw up for you. Uh, day three RPO is our salt play. That's our swing uh, scoot combo. And we run that to the left. We only put it into the left. It's just a little more natural throw going to the left for a younger quarterback. And then we put in our foxes. Uh, you know, the two best foxes anyway are off of the Larry Roger and off of the Tom Jerry. So, so those are the two we put in and, and uh, you know, those are killer on JV and lower levels. So there's our three day insertion. Again, insertion was all about repping your plays and doing it over and over and over and over until you get your know, repetition and mother of learning. That's what's gonna make you great. On this side, I went ahead and drew up the jet and you see there's nothing fancy to what we do. Uh, couple big coaching points. We, we do put this little slant on the backside and the theory is uh, you know if the if the walk runs with the jet well he's just opened up that slant window and we can hit that on varsity. We probably don't hit it as much on JV unless you just happen to have a gifted thrower down there. But the theory is good so we keep it in place where anytime when H takes off if the walk runs with them slants there if we want it and that's you know that that'll be you know quarterback coach uh, will give him a green light on that, but uh, in, in theory, he takes that anytime he wants it if the walk's running with him. Uh, O-line, elephants on parade. Bucket, cross, run. Bucket, cross, run. If you don't make contact in three steps, work and keep the track, work up to the next level, keep running. You know, again, we, we're, uh, we're good at this because they play us so tight because of counters. Uh, we got stock blocks on the play side. F, uh, probably just like everyone else, F is he's, he's going he's gonna to come around the corner. He's, he's ha hanging just for a second to make sure that this end gets blocked because that's the key block. And then if it does get blocked, I got him drawn as going, but, but he's going to catch this inside back of running uh, if he doesn't have to help on the end. So he's a help player first, then he's catching the first inside backer coming. And we're, we're tossing it. So a big key is timing it up, and timing can vary depending on how fast that guy is. But typically, if you'll snap it just as he gets to the offensive tackle, that gives you enough room to get the play, to get the operation going. But it, it's a rep thing, and it's a field thing, and, and it can change how, on how fast this guy is. If he's a if he's a screamer, it's gonna you know it's gonna have it's gonna time is gonna be a little different. So what I wanted to do was go ahead and draw up the, the uh, 820. So eight to us just means this motion's coming across to the right, nine would mean this motion coming across to the left. And the only thing that changes is the other line. Uh, the other thing I like about tossing the jet is it makes the, uh, it makes the, the fake so much easier. So I've got this guy coming full speed all he's got to do, I mean, he's going to turn like this to catch it on a, on a real jet. So imagine the look he's getting. I'm not proud. I'll give you the look he's getting. So he's running full speed on, on a fake, whether it's the pass or the 829-20. He turns his back. He keeps it for just a second, puts it in his fake arm, and keeps going. So look at the other side. Now you're on the defense, and he's here. He's running full speed. He turns his back. You get this action, and then you get this. It, that looks like he's got the jet, and that's and that's all we need is for him to think he's got the jet for a second. So, 820, again, the same defense that I've been showing you the whole time. 820, jet would come across to the right. All these guys are the same. This guy's the same. The only thing is we're going to scoop it just like we do on the RPOs. We're going to go ahead and uh, get a base here. He'll come in like he's scooping it. He'll come around, get the backside backer. We're most likely getting movement this way. And then uh, we'll have to game plan this one a little bit. We could, we could straight base block that thing. But if this guy's really coached up, then we might, we might have to buck across and run and just influence and get him out of there. I, it, it doesn't really matter that much. So he's going to give a fake here. And now the quarterback's up into the A gap using the scoop to go. Highly effective play. And you see, I mean, that's a simple play right there where, you know, Get your jet going two, three times, and then boom, hit them with the 829-20. The other one I want to drop is just the pass. And again, it's, it's nothing special to our pass. We're gonna, we're gonna fake the, uh, 
We're going to fake the zone as, as good as we can. I'm not going to be expert on it. We're going to get the good fake right here. And then all we're doing is stocking and going, stocking and going. And uh, what we rely on is, especially on JV and, and freshmen, we usually have the play caller, the varsity play caller up top. And they're just doing like old fashioned option football. They're, they're finding out when we run the jet, we wanna know who's making a tackle. If the corner is beating his stock block and making a tackle, when we call the pass, we know we're going pass Z. And we're gonna, when he quarterback's gonna come out, he's gonna expect to throw this Z. If it's the free safety or something coming coming downhill, just blowing us up on jet, then we know it's going to be pat, it's going to be uh, jet pass Y. So uh, just old fashioned like option responsibility. The guy in the box, his job is on jet to find out who is making the tackle, and that's the one we'll attack when we get to the jet pass. Uh, just a little three play series. Uh, we like it on varsity, but we love it on JV, freshman, middle school, and rec ball. So, so there's our insertion. There's our concept on how we're, uh, how we're using the offense. Again, uh, most of this stuff is just high percentage things that a JV, freshman, middle school quarterback can do. And then really starting, really relying on the Jet, the jet series. Coaches, I appreciate it. Uh, you know, do all the YouTube stuff. Uh, please leave your comments. I, I'd like to share ideas. Thank you, coaches.